Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time it's the Therm Pro Wireless Indoor Outdoor Humidity and Temperature Monitor. Uh, this was a Never Lightning deal on Amazon, about £16 I think it was. That's not bad because it's for the outside as well. And I quite like having one of these in the bedroom and being able to see what's going on in the back garden. So I went for this one. Let's see what's in the box. Give it any interest on the box here? Not really. I think these are made under all sorts of different names from China. Oh well, it's good to know that you do get batteries with it. So here's the outside one, which I guess must be waterproof. But um, I'll let you know if it isn't in the comments later on. Remote sensor, 433 megahertz wireless and it that that's the thing i hoped it would have is, is just some way of mounting it on a wall or what have you and um i would also be careful where you mount it too because if it gets the uh, morning sun or the evening sun it can it can change your outside temperature quite drastically oh oh dear i think that's a bit of a gasket sticking out there Oh, is this uh, is this how it unlocks here? Yeah, there we go. A bit worrying seeing the gasket sticking out. Hope it's not one that someone's returned already. Ah, there we go. Yes. Okay, so. Inside we've got two buttons, one is marked TX, one is reset, and there's one, two, and three. So it will broadcast on different channels. So I guess if it interferes with someone else's, if you've got someone that's nearby with the same one, you can change the channel, or I would imagine you can run three. So you have three channels, three different areas. Just uh, zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so that's the outside one with batteries. Here's the inside one. Need help? Yeah, I need help. Oh, it's a nice big display, got to say that, that's lovely. We've got a protective sheet over the uh, front there. And of course, you can change it to Fahrenheit or centigrade, depending where in the world you are or how you like it. And it has two magnets. How strong they are. Well, one magnet, ooh, one magnet will nearly hold it upside down, yeah, just about. So yeah, so that will definitely hold it straight up, no problem at all there. He says after dropping it. Okay, so. I think that must be a little reset part there. We've got a stand. And my camera's tilting um, quite downwards, so it might give a, a wrong impression about that tilt, but it it tilts enough. Actually, it is. it could do with tilting a little bit further back, even me sat at the desk here. If I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to see that properly, I'd have to move it way back. So, yeah, it could have done. We've been able to come back a bit further, but, you know, there we are. It's also got a, it's got three different ways, hasn't it? So you can put it on the stand, you can put it against something metal, or you can put it by a screw hole. So it's pretty versatile. So let's uh, let's put the batteries in and see how it how it looks when it's powered up. A nice big display. Oh, 
So, 73 humidity in here at the moment. Oh no, sorry. 73 Fahrenheit, 56 humidity, that's, that's better. Now, how do you change it then? Oh, oh it's a touch screen. Oh wow, oh, I didn't realise that. God, that, that's really good for the money then, having a touch screen. So you can instantly go, you don't have to go to the back or anything, you can instantly go between um, Fahrenheit and centigrade on this one. And it's got a minimum and maximum that you can clear, that's really good. That's really good. And look, you can get a, if I go through the cycle here, it's maximum, all time maximum and minimum. And then a minimum and maximum. Well, that's quite good. Channel sync and, oh, light on and off. And I tell you what, it's quite sensitive. That's, that's not bad. Yeah, it's quite sensitive. Okay, so let's, um, let's put the uh, batteries in the remote. Well, I wasn't too happy with that gasket sticking out, so just check that it's seated in there properly now. And I see it sort of moves forward slightly. It's a bit of an odd design. It, it moves forward slightly to uh, for these two hooks to go in so it's probably why the gasket came out in the first place oh no it doesn't, you, you can do it without that, no, 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 it's okay I thought you had to push it forwards then to get onto those um, to the, these hooks to go in but no they don't, you can actually go in you can, you can push it up to the top and then just push down right and that's sort of a belt and braces there right so I guess there's an LED which will come on every now and again perhaps once a minute or something I'm not sure some of these you you're meant to push reset aren't you when you first um, when you first turn them on so Perhaps I'll just do that to make sure. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's do channel here. No. Oh, look, channel three. Channel one. Ah, there we are, he's picking it up. That's out. Okay. Channel two, channel three and then back again. Okay, so the three is for three different sensors, so you can go between them. I was just thinking then you had to go through it every time, but you don't. Also, obviously you've got two readouts, so... Well, seems fair... Oh, hang on. Oh, it's gone to channel two for some reason. Just stay on channel one. I was just going to say that they're... Um, Oh, it's gone to channel two again. So there's a little ah. Okay, so even better then. You can run through the channels if you've got three of those sensors. So channel one, channel two, channel three, and then when you come back, there's that little symbol there, the, the bent round arrow, and it just cycles through the three channels. It's a really well thought out design that. So if you have got the three sensors, that's, this is the one to go for if you want a multi-sensor type one. That's very good. So just to set that, I just go back to channel one and just make sure that little thing's got off and it'll stay on there. Let's put them next to each other and uh, 
see if they do balance out temperature wise. So I put the sensor outside and it's taken about 15 minutes for it to get to the right temperature. So I guess a little bit of inertia is probably a good thing so it doesn't vary too quickly and just rises slowly. Let's have a quick look through and see if there's any additional information that we need. Specifications, hints and tips. Press and hold the channel sync and then TX on the transmitter. So, well, I didn't need to do it, but th that was what the TX was for to transmit and hold that, and that would get you on there. But it, it synced up very quickly here. Warnings do not subject to excessive force, blah blah blah. The transmission range is up to 200 feet in open area. Range might be shorter based on interference present. So the indoor temperature range is minus 4 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit, which is minus 20 degrees centigrade to plus 70 degrees centigrade. And outdoor range is minus 58 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit, which is minus 50 degrees centigrade to plus 70. So there's a nice range there. Um, humidity range is 10% to 99 and the temperature tolerance is plus or minus um, 2 Fahrenheit which is equivalent to 1.1 centigrade and power, we've seen what it's powered by we've seen what components are touch buttons well I think that's all I've got to say about that it's quite a nice little instruction book that comes with it I must say that, that you know, for, for less than £20, I think it was about £16 on, on Amazon Lightning deal, it might have even been £15. That's, um, that's a nice little unit, that. that's better than my ever one I had. Oh, it shows trends as well, so you've got an upward or downward trend. Ah, well that's interesting, these are both going downward trends. Steady for the temperature here, downward trend for this, it's, I guess it's all, because uh, I've had the back open. I guess it's all just balancing itself out, but this is a, of course it's a sealed unit for the battery, but I guess that's where the humidity detection is there. There seems to be another little, I think you can see it there, there seems to be another little thing poking out, like a little sensor there. That could be the um, temperature sensor. I haven't noticed the uh, LED go off yet. That's not a big deal, is it? You can see so anyway, um, there it is. So that's the Therm Pro indoor outdoor temperature and humidity. And I say if if there are any problems with it, I'll put it in the comments. But um, I think this looks like it's going to be a nice solid unit. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you again next time.